All right, hello everyone. I hope everybody is having a great Thursday. It's Jordan uh, here to talk about um, a little bit about Docker and Docker Desktop. Uh, today I want to show how to install Docker Desktop onto a Windows PC. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward and relatively quick, I'm hoping, but um, I just want to run through it because the instructions on Docker's website are just, I don't know, I feel like slightly convoluted. So we're going to go through that today and check it out. Um, let me make sure that everything seems to be working well. Quick. Okay, looks like the stream is running. I am um, watching LinkedIn. So if anybody is joining me in the LinkedIn chat, please feel free to uh, type out, you know, any questions or comments that you have, and I'll try to adjust them or address them as I'm going. Um, sometimes LinkedIn's a little weird about showing me those comments, so I have to refresh the page, but um, hopefully I should see them all. So, yeah, I think uh, with that, we're ready to get started. So, again, I'm Jordan, uh, CTO of Cloud Underground. Um, for people who aren't familiar with Cloud Underground or who we are, this is our website right here. It's cloudunderground.dev so you can go here to learn more about you know who we are and what we do and uh, for anybody who is interested in making streams like this or demos or anything like that um, I just want to continue to point people to the cloud jitsu program that I'm looking at here where we talk about the zero trust cockpit and how to get it installed and running on a system because the Zero Trust Cockpit has OBS Studios and KDN Live and um, a, a few other programs like media programs that will help you uh, make streams like this if you're interested in doing that. So yeah, um, yeah, thanks for being here, Evo. We, we appreciate, appreciate everybody who stops in and checks out the stream. So um, just to, yeah, to get started, uh, again, I want to show how to install Docker Desktop on a Windows PC. And I was going to show this on a VM, but I was having issues with my VMs and nested virtualization on the Windows VMs. And I'm not exactly sure what was going on with that, but I'm just going to actually, this my main PC doesn't actually have Docker Desktop, so we're just going to go ahead and install it on bare metal. So if you are installing this on a like docker docker desktop on a windows pc you should basically follow the same steps and when i'm doing stuff with docker uh, usually the best place to start for getting help is just with docker's documents um, which is you know at this website here docs.docker.com uh, docker has pretty darn good documentation for anything that you want to do so uh yeah, it has been a little while since I've been online or well, I mean, I made a couple of videos, but I was on vacation for a few weeks there. Um, and uh, I think a few videos were released, but this is the first live stream in a while. So yeah, hopefully everybody enjoys it. Okay, so to install Docker Docs or to install Docker on a Windows PC, like again, I, I started Docs. So um, we're going to click the download install button since those are the documents that are relevant to us today. And we are installing Docker Desktop for Windows. So we'll click on that little button there. Um, and I'll try not to go too fast because I know sometimes my stream has a habit of like hitching a little bit and I hope people don't miss things. So anyway, these are the Docker docs for how to get Docker going on Windows. And you'll see the first thing is this WSL2 backend. So that's essentially what allows Windows to run Linux sorts of applications on a Windows PC. So the first thing that we need to do is get that running. And um, if you kind of look through it here, you know, it says, you know, we need this version, we need Windows 11, 10 or 11. In this case, we're installing it on Windows 10. It should be a pretty similar process for Windows 11. Um, but it, you know, uh, again, your mileage may vary. I'm, I'm installing on Windows 10 here, so just be aware of that. And then it says, uh, enable the WS, WSL2 features in Windows for detailed instructions, refer to Microsoft documentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that link and we'll look at Microsoft's 
documentations. So um, here is uh, Microsoft's docs on how to install WSL on Windows. So, you know, we've got some prerequisites here. It must be running, when, running Windows 10 um, version 2004 or higher or Windows 11. So we've got that covered. Um, and then basically all we really need to do is run this WSL install command. And if there is a type of Linux distribution that you're interested in trying, you can actually read further down in the documents here and it will tell you how to install particular distributions because by default, this WSL install command is gonna install Ubuntu. And I think we're just gonna go ahead and do that today. If you actually want Ubuntu installed, you actually have to click on Ubuntu um, in addition to running this command on your computer. So, and I actually have uh, Debian installed. So I do already have the WSL backend installed, but we're just gonna try and do it again anyway. And we'll see, cause it should install Ubuntu when I do it this way. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. So um, let me show you what I'm doing. Basically, what the where you run this command, if uh, you're not super familiar with Windows, it says PowerShell. So PowerShell is an application in Windows that is basically a command, command prompt that allows you to run um, command line interface commands in Windows. So let me show you what that looks like. If I open up my PowerShell, um, this is what a uh, PowerShell prompt looks like. So, you know, it's just a, a kind of a typical command line interface. If you're familiar with Win uh, Linux, running Linux and um, running stuff in terminal, then this should look fairly familiar to you, but it's in Windows, not Linux. So um, we're gonna hide that again for just a moment. And we're gonna run this command, WSL dash dash install. So let's open this guy back up and we'll do the command. And it may look slightly different from you if you do this because again, I already actually have WSL um, because I installed Debian Linux on this computer a long time ago. So let's just see what happens. Um, Okay, so basically I think it's telling me that it's already installed, which is fine. Um, if you run it, it should just install the WSL backend and you should then have Ubuntu running. So let me do, just for fun, let's um, hide this and let's look at these instructions. And if we look at these instructions, we see that it says we can do WSL dash dash install dash D and the distro name to install a distro. And I kind of want to see what, I, I'm going to install Ubuntu just for fun. So um, let's get my PowerShell back up here. And then I'm going to run that command, which is WSL dash dash install dash D. And I'm not sure if we need a capital. I'll try lowercase. Ubuntu. So let's just see what happens when we do that. Okay, so it's installing Ubuntu. Um, this may take a few minutes, um, and I, you know I should have honestly considered that uh, because it's going to have to download the distro, and I think it's just like the Debian distro that I have is just a command line distro. So it's pretty. It's a pretty small package, and I'm assuming that's what it's giving me in Ubuntu too. I don't think it's giving me a full desktop distro. Um, so you know, you can see it's, a, it's actually going fairly quickly here. We'll go ahead and let it finish. While it's running, I am going to take a look-see and just make sure I'm not missing any comments in LinkedIn. So let me refresh my page, make sure that nobody's asking any questions and I don't see anything new. So, okay, I think we're good to go. Um, we're just gonna have to sit here and wait for a, you know, a few more seconds while this finishes installing. Um, you, again, don't actually have to, if you're brand new to installing WSL, you can just do WSL dash dash install. And if you never open Ubuntu, actually there's more that it has to install once you 
open Ubuntu. So you can just ignore it if you want to um, and uh, just use the WSL backend to run um, Docker. So um, it just launched Ubuntu. I just stopped it because it was trying to install more stuff. So anyway, so we should be good at this point. Um, we have the WSL backend now. So I believe that we can just go ahead and install Docker Desktop. So let's continue to go through our instructions here. And we don't need the Windows ones anymore. We've done that WSL backend bit. So um, there's a bit more, blah, blah, blah. Um, so basically installing Docker Desktop on Windows is quite simple. We just need to download the installer and it's going to be a you know pretty typical windows installer that you should be used to seeing so i think we just need to click on this docker hub link and and then we click on this docker desktop for windows button and it should download the downloader um you aren't seeing it but i'm getting a save as screen where it's asking me you know where i want to save the file i'm just going to have it go into my downloads so we'll click the save button um, again, sorry, you can't see that, but anybody who's downloaded a program on Windows should be fairly familiar with what that looks like. And we can see right now uh, that we are currently downloading. I'm assuming you can see that we are downloading this. Now, it looks like you actually can't see that. So um, I do a Windows capture with OBS and it, it kind of hides a lot of things. Um, that I'm doing. So if you click on the download button, you can see it's a 558 megabyte download. So depending on your internet speed, it may take a minute, um, but it's done for me. So I'm going to go ahead and open it in uh, my downloads folder. Again, this is not something you can see, but uh, if you've downloaded an application before, again, this should be fairly familiar. You're going to go to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded the application and we're just going to double click it, it says docker desktop installer dot exe so and you know if you have file or yeah file extensions hidden then you won't see the exe you'll just see docker desktop installer so we're going to double click on that and it's going to bring up an installer and it's it's also windows currently is asking me you know do I want to give permissions to Docker Desktop to install this? Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? We're going to click yes. Um, and now I'm getting an install prompt. Let me see if I can capture that real quick. So um, I apologize. I need a Windows capture. Give me one sec so I can show you what I'm doing here. And that's what I want. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now you should be able to see here on my screen that, you know, we're, this is the configuration for installing Docker Desktop. It's saying use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V recommended. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and uh, we'll allow it to add a shortcut to the desktop and we'll just click okay. And then it's gonna do stuff unpack some files, yada yada. Docker is pretty lightweight, so this shouldn't take very long to get going on your system. Um, and it, it, you know, I should mention, you need to have virtualization enabled in the BIOS of your computer before this stuff will work. So if you've got a Windows PC or something, um, and it's giving you errors or something along those lines and complaining potentially about virtualization not being enabled, you might have to restart your computer, open up your BIOS, and then enable virtualization however you do that. Unfortunately, every computer is different, every motherboard is different, and you know, if you have a, desktop, a full desktop um, versus a laptop, uh, and so I can't give you specific instructions on how to do that. You might just have to look that up um, on your own if you're, if you're having issues. And you will, well, yeah, I was going to say you probably need a newer computer, but I think almost every computer that most PCs that were made in like the last 12 uh, to 14 years should have the ability to um, allow virtualization to happen. So. Um, and this is taking slightly longer than I was expecting it to, but that's okay. Um, gave me the chance to talk about virtualization. 
and hopefully it'll finish relatively quickly. Um, I'm going to close my defaults. We don't need that. All right, so, okay. So now it wants me to log out of Windows to complete the installation. That is very annoying because um, that will kill my stream if I do that. So, uh, I didn't consider this fact. Let me see, is there a way for me to like pause my stream? I honestly don't think there is, but um, basically at this point we should have Docker desktop installed. I'm gonna click the X and not have it cl close and log out. And let's go back to our PowerShell here just for fun. And we'll see if uh, any Docker commands will work. Okay. So yeah, it's because I haven't restarted my computer, I can't show you that. So um, this is rather unfortunate. I really forgot about the fact that it was gonna make me restart when I was working on this. And I don't wanna do that because it's gonna kill my stream. And I'm not sure how to keep the stream going if I do. So um, I don't know, I think we're gonna call it there for the moment. If you are doing this, go ahead and restart your computer. Um, and then next time I stream, I will show you what it looks like to actually open Docker and um, yeah, and basically reinitialize it. I, I guess I'm just gonna basically call it on the tutorial part of the stream here um, because I don't wanna restart. So. So yeah, if you are working on this yourself, just restart your computer and then you should be able to go ahead and open Docker and it should start working for you. Um, I really only wanted to show you how to install anyway, so I, th I think that's okay that we're kind of hitting roadblock here. I'm just gonna close PowerShell for now. Um, Cause yeah, basically that's that's all there really is to it. It's, it's fairly simple to get Docker going on a Windows computer um, and so yeah, I mean, there's still, I think a couple of setup um, steps that we'll have to do once we open Docker desktop. But again, I will actually wait until my next stream to open Docker so I can show that to you guys uh, next time. So sorry about that kind of very short tutorial on this, but I think it gets the um, general process across on how you get Docker installed, because there's a lot of steps and stuff that's written down here in this document that, um, you know, is not necessarily super relevant to everybody that's trying to do this. Um, I feel like it's made a little bit unnecessary com unnecessarily complex. So I just wanted to show how simple it is to actually do that. And um, so hopefully everybody kind of gets that across. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh my LinkedIn to make sure I'm not missing anything here. But um, I think we're good. So yeah, I think with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and play a little bit of Terraria for anybody who wants to see any of that. So um, and I see my stream going red a little bit, so I don't know, hopefully it's not too choppy for everybody. So I'm gonna open up Terraria now. And so for anybody who is uninitiated in Terraria, Terraria is uh, it's a 2D like platformer slash crafting slash sandbox sort of game. Um, it's really fun, there's a lot of content. It's available on Steam for I think $10 and I think it even goes on sale for cheaper if there's a Steam sale, which I think Steam just had its summer sale. So anyway, okay, here we go. So this is the main menu for Terraria once you open it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click multiplayer. And the other thing I'm going to do real quick is uh, get some music going. So um, we run a 24 hour a day, seven day a week um, radio station that runs on YouTube. Um, that's got a bunch of music on it that doesn't cause DMCA strikes or anything. So if you um, need music for a background in a stream or anything like that, uh, we got you covered here. Just go to YouTube, 
search our search cloud underground and youtube you should find our our youtube channel and click on our youtube channel and you'll find our stream there um the other way to find our stream is let's see if i go back here to our web page um let's see here we used to have a link to it but we may not anymore anyway it doesn't matter um just go to youtube and find us that that's the best way to do it so go back to terraria i'm going to click join via ip using my yasna character um let me hide my password real quick not that it's all that important really because you'd have to be on our network to access any of this anyway but okay so now I'm in Terraria. Uh, it should not be a black screen for too much longer. It should show up pretty quick here. So there you go. All right. And for anybody who's been watching, oh, and let me um, move my LinkedIn to where I can watch, continue to watch chat. If anybody has anything to say or questions, I'll try to continue to monitor that. Oh gosh, so we got a blood moon rising, which means that there's going to be lots of zombies for a little bit, which is always kind of annoying. Uh, I also always like to mention at the beginning of this, the reason that we play Terraria is this this um, Terraria server is running on an instance of the Underground Nexus, which is essentially uh, the, you know, Docker container software stack that uh, we we developed as a company. Oh, the bride. Huh. So it's this is running in an instance of the underground nexus. So uh, you know, gaming always gives like a really good opportunity to kind of see what kind of performance you get out of something like this. And um, it, this is running on an, a piece of arm equipment on a Jetson. Um, Let's see, an NVIDIA Jetson AGX Xavier. So it's a pretty powerful piece of equipment, and you can see it, it works It works really well. And the other thing is, it's not, this is not local on my network. This is, you know, on another network at our co-location, um, a few hundred miles away from where I am. So uh, it's, I don't know, I think it's pretty impressive how little lag there is and how well it works. So I think it's a good good demo which is why I like to play Terraria um, and plus it's just a fun game now this is kind of interesting so right now we've got a blood moon going in Terraria which happens occasionally and basically it means that tons of zombies come after you and during a blood moon so in normal nights if you have closed doors the zombies will not be able to get through the doors but on a blood moon night the zombies can open up doors however if we look down here, we've got an iron door, and it seems like the zombies aren't getting through that. Oh, we'll give them a second see. But maybe iron doors will stay closed even during a blood moon. That's kind of interesting if that's the case. So that means heavier doors maybe will, are more defensive than normal doors. Because, yeah, I mean, nobody's getting through this iron door. That's kind of cool. I'm also kind of getting over a little bit of, well, I don't know, illness that, that I got after vacation, so my voice starts getting a little weak, that's that's why um, I can kind of hear myself getting a little, a little scratchy, but yeah, I don't know, pretty cool. I didn't realize that iron doors would keep things out even during the blood moon, so handy to know that. Um, I think... If I remember correctly, full moons are also an event that'll cause a lot of zombies to spawn and will attack you and um, can potentially go through doors like this. But yeah, so iron doors. If you want to keep your zombies out, then use iron doors and not wooden doors. 
you haven't got a clue it isn't fair I never made a decision no one wants to hear so I really want to make a bamboo house today oh I've got a bunch of crap to deal with all right hold on Trying to dump a bunch of stuff out of my inventory real quick. Spiky balls are useless. Iron ore. Stack that. Stack anything here. Oh, okay, that's got most of it out. Alright, that was pretty much everything. I got a wedding dress from the bride. See, I've got... Oh, wait, here we go. Throw that in there. Wedding veil. Oh, that goes with the dress, so... Alright, there we go. Let me sell some stuff. Who can I sell stuff to? Always sell stuff to the golfer. I don't want these spiky balls. Get rid of those. I don't want this rash. Shackles. Get rid of those. All right. Ah, I keep picking up more gel. <laughs> Go away. All right. So I want some bamboo. I think I've got some somewhere here. It's in. It's in here. Maybe I don't have... Oh, there it is. There's the bamboo. I got quite a lot of it, too. So, I need to make some bamboo furniture for my bamboo house that I'm going to craft. So, let's see. How can I... Bathtub. Large bamboo can be placed. Also as a material, huh? Bamboo wall. Bamboo bed. I need silk. I need books. Dresser. All right. Well, let's just make a bunch of bamboo stuff. So I'll create a bamboo bathtub. Bamboo dresser. Uh, bamboo candelabra. Sure, candle. Sure, chairs. We'll need two of those at least. See, we'll need some bamboo doors, probably. Mm, bamboo lantern, I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. Here's bamboo table, workbench, toilet. Yeah, we'll craft a workbench. Uh, craft a toilet. All right, what else? There's more. I think I need silk for beds and couches, so let's find some silk here. Okay, now I should be able to make bamboo sofa. Bamboo. Where's my bamboo? There we go. There's bamboo bed. Quit hurting me. Stupid eyes. It's always hard to do things during Blood Moon because all the zombies are harassing you constantly. How's my hairdresser doing? Ah, she's fine. Um, I need a bucket to make a bamboo sink, which is the other thing I want. Where is the sink? Oh, nice. Let's make a bookcase. Let's make... Um, ooh, I might... <laughs> I do really like this song, but um, yeah, I don't know. I'm probably going to mute it. Like, a couple of these songs have some explicit lyrics, and we're trying to keep this PG, so... Anyway, uh, let's see, where's my sink? Sink, sink. B, 
bamboo candle, bamboo bathtub. Why can't I make a sink? What else do I need? All right, hold. Um, Brandon. So Brandon is the host of the world, and he tells you how to craft things. So if you ever are running into snag trying to figure out how to craft something okay so oh my bucket needs to be full of water okay 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 so let me do that so i need to go and fill up my bucket with water and the way you do that is you go find some water somewhere oh i think the blood moon might be over thank goodness stupid blood moons all right, so here's some water, and now I can go like this. Quunk. Okay, and now I've got water. So I'll try and pay attention to the music once the song's over. I'll turn it back on. But I guess I should warn you, there is a couple of songs with explicit lyrics on our station, but not very many. And they're so good, honestly, the ones that do have them, but... Uh, da, 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 da. All right, bamboo sink should be possible now. There we go. All right, that's pretty much all the bamboo stuff. So now that I've got all of that, I can go make my bamboo house. So I'm gonna go here and the where the place. I'm making my bamboo houses at the very end of the world because I really want another location for a teleporter so that I can instantly get from both ends of the world. Because right now, if we look at our map, you'll see I've got this house over here and it has a forest pylon. So I can instantly get there. And if I go over here and build a house on the beach, that should be able to give me a ocean pylon or a beach pylon or whatever they call them. And then I can instantly get from one side of the world to the other if I want to for whatever reason. Pylon network is very helpful for moving quickly. And you can see how easy it is to collect bamboo. It's everywhere in the jungle. Um, like this is this is a bamboo stock right here. This thing. Oh, our song's over. We'll go ahead and put put the music back on. Hey. Uh oh. What'd I do? Oh, I paused it. There we go. All right. And. I should check this too, okay. And this, and make sure I'm not missing any comments. I think we're good. All right, let's keep going. It takes a minute to get all the way to the edge of the world. And we gotta go through this corrupt area. I'm still working on isolating my corrupt areas so that I can fight the wall of flesh and finally open up some new content in this game. I've been kind of run out of a lot of the pre-hard mode bosses and stuff. Um, if you've watched a lot of these streams, you've seen me fight quite a few of those guys. All right, so here's the beach where I'm gonna make my beach house. Um, I guess I will clear a bit of land for that. Oh, I should have gotten some glass too because I plan to use a bunch of glass, but we're gonna have sand, so I don't know. We'll worry about that when we need to, I guess. Clear a bit of area. I do plan on making a fairly large house here. Oh. 
Okay, so I think this is gonna be the general outline for my house and I kinda want it to be like a sort of No, I'm always trying to come up with the new designs for houses in this game. It's always a little tricky. Leave me alone. I'm too close to the corrupt. It keeps spawning these jerks. Um, so let me, let me put my bamboo here where I can easily access it because I'm going to be constantly having to fight these guys. So this will probably be the bathroom. that and that'll be good for the door so my plan is to kind of have this like well you'll see um yeah that's cool okay Yeah. Okay. Pyramidy looking house, sorta of, kinda, but with like multiple sort of pyramids, I guess. Oh, yeah, we'll see how it comes out, you know. This will be the big room. And then it's going to have a glass wall here. And I'm going to have to clear out all this, I guess. All right, and just as a placeholder, I'll go ahead and put a bamboo wall, I suppose. But this is going to be a glass wall, ultimately. And then... Smooth it out. floor, I guess. What should I make the floor out of? Eh, worry about that at another point, I suppose. It's pretty easy to replace floor. Maybe I'll make the floor actually out of the pile of seashells. So I need more. I need more. Shells over here. Nah. Some coral and stuff. I might have to get some more shells from the other side of the world, but I'll worry about that later. Okay. Um, so then we'll have a bamboo door go here. And another one go here. This will be our bathroom. Um, and let's throw down a workbench because then I can make more stuff. So, usually I have the toilet going. And where's my bamboo toilet? I think it needs to be there. Yeah. Okay. 
and I might just fill in that like a so. And this will be a bedroom, I think. Stay a square. And I'm gonna go higher than that. Go to this guy. And then I can have a hang in lamp right there. Oh, yeah, I need bamboo walls, don't I? Well, we'll need the workbench for that. So where's my bamboo wall? There we go. Uh, it's probably gonna be enough. Crab! smooth out walls it kind of makes it a little awkward for the wall or when you smooth out well yeah I guess they're walls it makes it awkward for the other walls that's okay nobody's gonna notice that hardly sorry crab all right where's my bamboo wall Ah. It's not hitting what I wanted. Oh, that's why. figure out where I want to actually have the teleporter. Okay. Um. Bamboo walls. This won't be enough, but I'm going to have some glass walls too, so it should be fine, ultimately. Ah. Not trying to cut down trees. That's all my bamboo wall. That's okay. Um, let me oof. place table. And I need to place it in a place that's too close. That should be good. Oh, 
All right, so now we got my little table here. Oh, I didn't find a place for the sink, so let's... Oh, that's not gonna work. There we go. And it's got the toilet and the sink. Let's see, is that good enough for this to be a livable space? I think it needs a... Definitely needs that. It needs a light source. Let's actually move it right to the center. Maybe I'll put it there. So let me... Do that, and then... Yeah, I think that's good. And then if we go to housing and quarry this, uh, room is too small. Oh, that's annoying. That's okay. We don't need the bathroom to be a livable space anyway. This housing's suitable. This housing's not. It's missing a wall. It's also it doesn't have light. But okay. So, I'm going to go home because I need glass. Alright, that should allow me to finish what I want to do. Now, see, eventually I'll get a pylon going, and then it will be just as fast for me to get to this bamboo house as it is to get to all these other places. So that's the reason I'm building it. You can see why I want another teleporter over here. It's just such a pain to move across the map. But in order for your teleporters to work, you have to um, have people living near them, which is why I need the housing, so... I know when I hit the corrupt area, I'm getting close. Alright. So my plan here was to do actually a glass wall. door. Oh, what do I need to make a glass door? Shoot. Shoot. I probably need iron, if I had to guess. Because I'd like to have this be a glass door here and not a bamboo door. It's okay, though. The other thing I'm going to do Oops. 
Hey! You screwed me up! Oh no! You jerks! Get out of here! That's too much glass, or at least it needs to balance, so maybe there we go. That looks more balanced to me. Nice. Okay, there we go. So now we got a nice window there. Cover these went. Oh, quit doing that. See, I do feel this window is maybe just a tad large, so let's. That's pretty good. I've got a little more glass to work with over here, too. There we go. I think that's pretty good looking. And maybe I'll get like. Other thing that I wanted to potentially do is kind of add like shingles sort of to this. And I need glass platforms for that. Ah, and I can make them. Perfect. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I want my glass platform to go just up Above that. Yeah, there we go. That ought to be right. Ah, oh, everybody, go away! I'm working here. Now, right now, these don't look super good, but they're going to in a sec. It's so hard to work when everything is trying to kill you. Let's try that. Uh, we'll pound these down to make them shingles. There, so it kind of has glass shingles. We can definitely. Looks good. Can I pound these? That's what I want. Hmm. Yeah. don't like the way this corner is coming out. I'm wondering if there's something I can do. Oh, there we go. That works. So what I did was make that a full square. And then I can go... Uh -huh, uh -huh. I need more. 
Ran and out of glass platforms. Just like that. I like that. I think that looks kind of like shingly. I don't know. A little flare to the house, maybe. This is the kind of stuff that I can spend a lot of time screwing around with in this game. Square there. Oh, come on. Look at all these stupid guys coming at me. Trying to make it impossible for me to finish. No way. Stop. are technically uh, stairs and not shingles, but I think they have a nice shingly look to them. There we go. My beach house now. Sweet. Uh, now I just need... I'm gonna throw down this couch somewhere. It's unfortunate. I guess I don't... Well... I put a bookcase here. Can I put a couch too? Didn't have room for my bathtub, but that's okay. Ah, perfect. And actually, what I'm going to do is. I think that looks okay. Kind of an interesting looking house. And I need just a couple of more piles of seashells, which I think I've got back at the place. And I need a glass door, which I probably also have one of those handy. Now, I am a little curious how this one works. Nah, no, 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 I don't like that. Alright. <laughs> Can I put a table on a table? I guess I cannot. <laughs> Alright, um, let me go get this stuff for my glass door. Like I said, I think I might already have one. Let's see. Nope, 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 no nope, nope, extra glass doors. What do I need for a glass door? Probably something in here. Didn't mean to do that. Just give me a glass door. And the other thing I'm curious about is can I make like a bamboo chandelier? Ah, yes I can. I need some chain. Just one. Okay. So if I open 
than this. And I go to craft it. Why can't I craft? Did it close it? Oh, it did. Now it should be able to. If you open a chest, you can craft from what's in it, but it keeps closing the chest on me. I just need two chains, I think, to make two chandeliers, so that's fine. There it is. I guess I also need an anvil. Boom. All right. That's what I wanted. Uh, what else did I want? I think I had a shell, more shell piles somewhere, but I'm not sure where. I don't see any, but I know how to get them real fast, so. This place is not quite a beach house, but it's very close. I should only need... That ought to do it. How much is that? Three? Yeah, I think that'll be enough. Soon I won't have to do this anymore. That was exciting. Finally got another beach house built, which I've been intending to do for a long time, but I just never got around to it. And I know it's probably not the most exciting thing, but to watch on a stream. But hey, that's part of the game is crafting, so. We'll get back to boss fighting as soon as I finish some of the other onerous tasks I have to do. Um, which basically is isolating the cursed areas. Which I'm getting close to. Probably another couple hours, which I'll try and do off stream because that's really not exciting to watch. Everybody's seen me do that too at this point, if you've watched these. I'm going to be very glad when I don't have to run all the way over here anymore to get to the spot. Alright, and we can also keep the stupid crabs out now. Bang! Alright. So let's see, what, what does the chandelier look like anyway? Not enough room there. So what I'll do is I'll double up on the thickness of this bamboo up here. And then I can throw throw one of these, at least one in. Cool. I don't know if I'll be able to. Well, yeah, I can um, just I do that probably. Let me do it higher, actually. No. Yeah, that's good. No, I do want to do a one higher, I think. There we go. That's kind of cool looking, I think. And if I go out here, I should be able to craft another lamp. Oh, I have one of these already. Cool. And now this should also be appropriate housing. 
Housing is suitable. Perfect. And crabs can't attack through it anymore, so that's always good. And we'll finish our shell pile floor there. Neat. And, you know, I'll probably end up digging down here to put my pylon in, but I think I'll do that later on my own time. The other thing I'm kind of curious about is, geez, these crabs are coming at me like crazy. Did I use all the glass? Let's make another glass platform. Here, actually. No, I do want it there. Wait. Yeah, that's... Yeah, we'll do that. And I kind of like... Just like a little... I don't know. Thing. Thing of a jigger. Sixth hundred theater of souls. Those guys are very persistent, aren't they? All right, I, I like that. I think that looks good. I am one more thing I am gonna do though is because I doubled up on my bamboo up here. I'm gonna do that, and maybe I do the same here. Eh, it's fine. I think. Cool. All right, a nice little bamboo house. See, then I need to figure out what kind of platform. I guess I'd use a bamboo platform. Probably need four. Just like that. And this is where my pylon can go. And then I need to figure out who actually likes to live at the beach, because you have to buy the pylons from somebody who lives at the beach. So, And I'll, I'll probably line this with shell pile too, but um, I don't have enough shell pile to get very far with that. There we go. Cool, and then my pylon can go in there. And then I can instantly transfer across the world very easily and efficiently. I am going to add There we go. And then I can add another one of these chandeliers in here, I think. It'd be kind of nice. I drop this guy down. Oh, come on. What That was aggravating. bamboo wall back there, and then I gotta go fix this stuff I messed up. There we go. There we go. Like a so. Fix my roof that got messed up. All these Eater of Souls, that are very annoying. There we go. Perfect. Another Blood Moon? Oh, goodness gracious. I think that's a good indication that it's time for me to stop playing. <laughs> oh, man. Stupid Blood Moon is so annoying. I kind of... You know, after all that I did here... I've decided I do like it a little bit lower, I think. So, put my bamboo 
through there. And put my chandelier here. There we go. Yeah, I like that better. And get out of here before they start breaking through my doors. Stupid zombies. Okay. All right, that's it for, for today. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the stream that was here. Let me um, turn down the music. So again, uh, I'm Jordan with Cloud Underground. Uh, if anybody is curious about who we are, what we do, I you know encourage you to go to our website, which is right here. It's... Um, cloudunderground.dev.dev so you can see that here uh, it talks about who we are you can learn about all the services that we offer all the courses that we offer because um you know we have this uh let's see our academy which basically has a bunch of classes which uh, would tell you how to build a lot of the things if you went through all our courses you would learn how to build a lot of the things that we built here um, and like our, our underground nexus and whatnot. Um, and if you're curious about the underground nexus, go to our uh, GitHub page, um, which I can go to real quick. It's github dash, github.com dash underground dash ops, oh, slash. So github.com slash underground dot dash ops slash underground dash nexus, uh, this guy right here. We'll get you there and you can also i believe get there from here somewhere but um yeah and uh this tells you how to set up an underground nexus and whatnot so all really cool stuff um again if you're curious and like if you want to make streams or demos like the ones that i've you know, like this one right here you know check out our cloud jitsu program where we talk about the zero trust cockpit and the Zero Trust Cockpit has all the tools that you need to essentially make a stream like this um, or make demos or whatever else. So yeah, I encourage you to check all of that stuff out. And if you have questions or comments, then uh, join our dojo, which if you see this link right here, join the dojo. Um, and let me kind of get to a place where I can see. Where is, where is my Vimeo? Here we go. So yeah, uh, you can click on this link, join the dojo, learn how to join our Discord server where you can talk to our community, bounce questions or ideas off of them, or get in contact with us generally. Um, we're not always there, but it's, it's one of the best places to contact us, so, um, or in LinkedIn. So yeah, thanks for joining today. I hope everybody has a great rest of your Thursday. And on Monday, I should be back and I will show you what the rest of the Docker setup looks like after I've rebooted my PC and whatnot. Um, and uh, we'll also probably check out some basic Docker commands and, and stuff like that. So um, thanks again. Have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye.